three months ago, the government passed uh, in the parliament the bill on the budget decentralization. We were under severe attack of everyone. Well, opponents, even our friends from the coalition, were sharply criticizing the government, saying, hey, look, they don't have uh, calculators, they are very weak in math, this won't work, this won't help, and this is the wrong way to implement and execute budget decentralization. I can give you the numbers. The revenues of local authorities or decentralized authorities increased by 35% in the first quarter this year. So everyone today from the village to even oblast region, they are happy. They never faced this kind of revenues even four or five years ago. So we made the first step in devoting an additional fiscal and financial powers to local communities. But the thing is that it's always uh, a long chat about reforms because one can say that reform is when no one is paying taxes, just sitting in his uh, house and waiting for huge wages and salaries. The same goes with decentralization. Uh, a number of uh, local communities believe that we will just transfer billions of grievances to their accounts and they will easily spend them. No. It is interlinked with the responsibility. You guys have to be responsible. And you have to show to all Ukrainian taxpayers, I mean on the local level, the way you spend these revenues. What you build, how you finance your social sector, medical sector, local education, and this is to be interlinked not just with the budgetary but political reform. And the president signed an executive order and established a constitutional commission. So we believe that the best pattern for Ukraine to change a political landscape or to implement the real decentralization is just to use a Polish one. Uh, we are too similar and if we adopt Polish model to the Ukrainian one, this definitely will work. So we expect that the parliament uh, in the nearest future will pass the constitutional amendments and uh, we will devote an additional political rights and responsibilities to the local authorities. This is the right way to follow and the less centralized government we have, the more efficient country we get. And we actually got the support from our European partners and let, let me just remind you, uh, Chancellor Merkel, uh, she especially proposed uh, uh, financial support for the local communities, which is just to focus on the needs of local communities. And this is another step forward in supporting Ukrainian decentralization process.